Mount Pleasant. During the chaos of World Cup qualifying, CONCACAF actually had the group stages of the 2024 CONCACAF Caribbean Cup group draw happening under the radar. So the second edition of the regional cup competition which served as a qualifier for the 2025 CONCACAF Champions Cup and crowns the Caribbean's club champion will include 10 clubs and will be played between August and December of this year. The 10 Caribbean clubs participating in the competition were split into two groups of five clubs each and will play as follows where Group A, Montpellier FA, which is our star club from the JPL, Cavalier FC, our defending champions from the JPL, Real Hope FA, Michelinos Police FC, and the CFU Club Shield champions. While Group B will see Cibao FC, Mocha FC, Quantanamind FC, AC Port of Spain, and the CFU Club Shield runners up. So immediately what should jump out at you is the fact that in both Group A and, and Group B, there are actually two clubs from the same country going to be participating in the same groups. Especially for us JPL lovers, it's a bit disheartening to see more pleasant and Cavalier are into the same group. Especially realize for you to get into that CONCACAF Champions Cup in 2025, the top two would need to go to the semi-finals. And if you are wondering how CONCACAF could allow this to happen, well, they explained that the 10 participating clubs was distributed into five parts according to their CONCACAF club ranking as of June 3rd, 2024. The five parts were as follows. Part one saw the two highest ranked clubs, which is Cibao FC, which is the highest club ranked in the Caribbean, followed by the second highest ranked club, which is Mount Pleasant FA. Part two saw the next two highest ranked clubs, which was Cavalier FC and Mocha FC, Part 3 saw the two next best, which was Real Hope and Quantanamind FC. Oh, and Part 4, of course, saw Miscellaneous Police FC and Port of Spain FC. While Part 5 was the champion and run up of the 2024 CFU Club Shield. So, because of that, and those having two groups to basically draw parts 4, we got their lucky draws they like to see two Jamaican clubs in Group A and two Dominican Republic clubs in Group B not doing Jamaica any favor but wait it possibly can get worse because as mentioned part 5 will see the champion and runner up of the 2024 CFU Club Shield which is another qualifying tournament for this round where smaller Caribbean Island clubs will be facing off but it would also include Arnett Gardens in that round but what is also troublesome is that last year defending champions of the Caribbean Cup came from this round and they will be participating in this round once more and that's his SV Robin Hood of Suriname. They bested Cavalier in the final and they will be the main obstacle for all the Gardens in the CFU Club Shield. And when you think further that the final team that's supposed to participate in Group A will be the Shield champions, we could end up with other two things. We could end up with one of very strong team from Suriname like the defending champions which will essentially make group A the group of death or we can end up with Arne Guns coming out on top in the club shield and then find himself in a group A along with fellow JPL teams more pleasant and cavalier and why familiarity will help the clubs is it's problematic that we want to see if possible all three JPL teams making it to the CONCACAF Champions Cup but surely if all three of them are drawn in group A one of them or if possible two of them will miss out heavily. So that's a bit of a problem. I wish CONCACAF had it a bit better, but I guess they were arguing with such limited teams and only two groups. This was bound to happen. Anyway, let's give you a little more synopsis on how the competition will be going. After the group stage, the first and second place finishers in each group will advance to the knockout stage. The knockout stage will include home and away play, starting with the semi-finals, followed by the third place match and the final, where the Caribbean's new champion will be crowned. Furthermore, the finalists and the third place winner, three clubs in total, will qualify for the 2025 Champions Cup. The champion will also receive a bye to the round of 16 of the Confederation Premier 27 club competition. So essentially just like last year, SV Robin would skip the round of 32 and go straight to the round of 16 while Cavalier had to face SC Cincinnati in the first round of the CONCACAF Champions Cup for coming second while Mocha FC of the Dominican Republic also had to play in the round of 32. Alright, the group stage will occur over 5 weeks starting with the week of August 20th to 22nd. Week 2 will be August 27th to the 29th, 
Week 3 will be September 17th to the September 19th. Week 4 will be September 24th to the 26th. And the final week, week 5, will be October 1st to the 3rd. The semifinals will be between October 22nd to the 24th and October 29th to the 31st. The third place and the final will be played between November 26th to the 28th and December 3 to December 5. But let us give the actual fixtures for Cavalier and more pleasant. Starting with Cavalier, Cavalier will play away, technically quote unquote, away to more pleasant in week one. So right off the bat, Cavalier and more pleasant first game of the season will be a rematch of their last game of the season. It's another replay of the JPL final, and again, if everything goes as planned, it should be at the National Stadium. And when we say everything as planned. It is dependent on the lights being sought out by August 20th. So that is week one for Cavalier. The second week, they'll be at home against Police FC of Trinidad. In week three, they'll be at home against Real Hope. And week four, they'll be at rest. And in the final week, they'll play away to the Shield Runners Up, which right now we can pencil in as possibly SV Robin Hood. So a tough clash. While more pleasant will be at home again, quote unquote, at home in week one against Cavalier. They'll be away to the Shield winners in week two. The rest in week three. They will be away to Police FC in Trinidad in week four. And they will, they will return home in week five against Real Hope. So, lots to look out here for our top two JPL teams. Um, if they end up with Ardigans in the group, not much traveling. So, we'll see how it goes. All right. There's a little bit of rewinds what happened last year. Last year, half of you and Dumbo Olin were drawn in the same group. So, two JPL teams in one group is not new. They were in Group B, where half of you finished second behind SV Robin Hood, while Dumbo Olin did finish fourth in that group and missed out on a chance to qualify for the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Cavalier, on the other hand, were in Group A and they topped their group with a record of three wins and one loss. As well as how they fared, as we stated before, Cavalier made it all the way to the final where they took on SV Robin Hood but lost to 3 0 and Aggregate in the final. Why well, have you could have made it two JPL teams in the CONCACAF Champions Cup but they missed out in the third place match when they lost 3 2 to Mocha FC at Dominican Republic? So we're in full support and hoping that our JPL representatives, including Arnie Guns, will do their best and hopefully we can get at least two. If we're lucky, maybe three into the CONCACAF Champions Cup next year because this is our Champions League, this is where the big bucks are, and this is the prestigious competition you want to set your name on. So, that would do it here for John PL Fun. Just giving you an update on our runners up and champions and how they will fare in the regional tournament. We keep an eye as well on Arne Guns as their draw for the Caribbean Club Shield did not happen just yet. And let us see if they could avoid SV Robin Hood at least to the final. But if you're new here, please hit that like button, please subscribe and keep watch as we keep up to date on all things of the Jamaican Premier League and the Caribbean Champions Cup as we look to support our teams in the regional tournament. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we will see you next time. YouTube, big up yourself.